case you didn't know, this is njbrew22.com supermarket roundup for May 25, 2018. If you weren't stuck in a pit somewhere, it's Memorial Day this weekend, as you can tell. Memorial Day, Memorial Day, Memorial Day, Memorial Day, Memorial Day. Memorial Day. So, we're going to quickly go over Stop and Shop. We've been trying to give them some love the last couple weeks, but we're just going to point out a few things here. We got fried chicken. I love fried chicken. Who doesn't love fried chicken? $6.99 for eight pieces. And remember that price. And again, we said that uh, Stop and Shop had the nicest layout here, but there's a couple things that we need to take note of here. They're doing all the sorts of branding now with Disney. Uh, this has become like a marketing book rather than just finding out what's on sale. You got all these Disney movies. I don't really appreciate that too much. I, I don't really want to know about it. But uh, I guess parents want to know about it and all the people that enjoy those things want to know about it. So there we go. This is interesting. I want to try this one of these days. This is chicken wing bucket for five bucks. It doesn't say how... God damn it. Who the hell's calling? It's not for me. So we'll just let that uh, phone ring. I'm not editing. Take a note of that price. $2.99 a pound for ground beef. 80% is our favorite. You can do 75, you get even better tasting burgers. 75% that is. Uh, just keep keep those things in mind. We're not gonna talk about chips or any junk food because that's not uh, good for you. And here's another interesting price. You get the Dixie heavy duty plates. Remember that price because I'm gonna bring it up again. That's $2.49 for a container of them. And here we go, a pint of blueberries for $3.99. Pint, uh, I love blueberries, they're really a good treat to eat. Better than candy or cookies, I'll tell you that much. I'm not gonna talk about Walmart, however, they have better brioche buns at Aldi for less. Um, that's a good price for six brioche buns, if you wanna eat those things, that those are the best tasting burger buns in our opinion. But you get them cheaper at Aldi. And here goes Kings again, we're, we're not really gonna talk much about them, but here, note this price. This is $3.99 a pound if you're a member and you gotta buy three pounds or more for 80% ground beef. Keep, keep that price in mind. And we're not gonna look at the rest of their stuff. Uh, we use Kings, like we said, in, uh, in emergencies only. They have an okay, well laid out store. No, no mass crowds, it's, but they're expensive. Um, IGA, Bishop's White House, we support them a lot because they're local and they also have decent prices from time to time. Number one thing, don't ever buy Heinz ketchup. They got high fructose corn syrup in there. Uh, tr buy organic if you can. It's just better for you. They have a really good deal on Bubba Burgers if you like those. We said we were gonna try them. We still haven't tried them. Uh, we're gonna try them soon uh, on the grill. And they have an incredible deal on fresh sweet corn. 10 ears for $2, and you can buy 20, 20 ears of corn if you want to put them on the grill, get those nice sear marks on there. We think that's a really good deal this week. Um, they have uh, organic avocados. Uh, here's something I want to point out. Um, it doesn't, or, uh, avocados are one of the uh, 10 things out there that you don't really need to buy organic because they have the pesticides and all that stuff doesn't really get in through the skin. So don't feel like you have to buy organic, but that's a pretty good deal, a dollar of an avocado uh, for organic. Some people just like to see the word organic on their food, that makes them feel better. Um, and they think it, it makes them um, more healthy as well. Here's a really good deal on a pint of blueberries for $2.99. Keep in mind, a pint is 16 ounces and then you can also get a six ounce uh, container. So keep that in mind. And here we go. ShopRite's usually our, our go-to because they have the most comprehensive things. I'm going to take this out of here now. They got this weekend. We did the London broil last week. It came out great. We, we, bought, we got five pounds of meat for less than, uh, than nine dollars. We're going to try it again this time. We slow cooked it at 250, uh, 225 for five and a half hours. It was too dry because all the fat left. So I think what we're gonna do this time is 175 for about the same time and hopefully the fat stays in it because it all came out. It, it was okay, but I, we made a mistake. And here's another thing. You got the bacon again, 399. Don't ever pay more than 399 pounds because you can always find it on sale somewhere. They have a really good deal on the paper plates here. $1.99 if you, with your shopper's card and the ShopRite brand is pretty much the same as, as the uh, Dixie brand. So you don't have to buy the Dixie brand either. Um, all sorts of meats on sale. And here we go. 
80% lean ground beef is only $1.99 a pound. There's no other place to buy 80% ground beef cheaper than ShopRite. Uh, Aldi might have it cheaper. Uh, I mean, I might be saying it wrong with them. It might not be Aldi, it might be Aldi. I don't know. It's possible I'm saying it wrong. I don't care. Um, here we go. The, the eight piece fried chicken at the AP was $6.99. It's $5.99 at ShopRite. Better deal. And hot dogs here. Um, these are these Black Bear. I'm okay with that brand, but I think the best hot dogs I've ever eaten were at the Cl uh, Chester Butcher over there in Chester, New Jersey. Uh, those things were like filet mignon. I love them. So keep. you may be able to get uh, some interesting hot dogs there. You should try it. Or any local butcher that does it themselves, you're gonna get better. Here, here we go again. What's the up with this? ShopRite's now a furniture company. I guess the Wake Fern Cooperative is, has such buying power now. Billions of dollars in buying power that they have. This is probably all made in China, but they can get this type of stuff uh, cheap now and they, they sell it, they, they're making room for it inside their stores. And they'll probably set up one and keep the rest in boxes because these all need assembly. I'm at six minutes here, I'll probably edit it down. Barbecue sauce, um, this Guy Fieri is half price. Just watch the sugar content, I'd be really careful with that if I were you because a lot of times that's just like eating packets of sugar. And I know a lot of people like barbecue and they love that finger licking good stuff but I don't know, it's something you, you might eventually want to uh, uh, investigate uh, to improve your life. But what else do we have here this week? Um, again, we ignore the junk, like soda pop and all these flavored beverages. Water, water is your best bet, uh, or wine, or coffee. But I'm not gonna force you to do it, uh, what we do. Now here's something interesting this week. This is Donaldson Farms, it's a CSA program for just uh, four shop rights. Flemington, Clinton, Greenwich, and Bethlehem. You pay 30 bucks a week, you get a half a bushel of produce. Um, enough to uh, satisfy a family of three to four people. And you get uh, eight or 10 items and always get uh, four ears of their famous sweet uh, corn, lettuces, and variety of fruit and vegetables. Uh, it might be interesting just to support local. I wonder if you could do it directly through them or I don't know if ShopRite's getting a cut of the deal here. I always like to eliminate middle, middlemen as much as possible. Um, it's hard to do. Uh, if you saw my article about the ShopRite of Chester we did a couple days ago, it was uh, interesting to see the, the financials behind a, a, a food corporation. There was one particular ShopRite that was uh, publicly traded and that, that there's about 29 or 30 of them in the Northeast that are part of one uh, food group. And they, uh, between the 30 stores, they sold $1.6 billion worth of food, but their net profit after everything settled was $20 million. So you gotta sell $1.6 billion worth of food to make 20 million bucks these days. That's crazy. Um, and that's about it. And here we go, we got blue, organic blueberries, two ninety nine, but it's not a pint, it's six ounces, so it's small, it's the small one, not the, the, the big one. And that's it for this week's, just don't forget the London broil and the ground beef at ShopRite, best deal and bacon, you can't go wrong. Have a nice holiday weekend.